This is Vladimir. Vladimir, thank Hi. you for Hi. being here. Well, it's a job to be here. <laughs> yes. And you will show us what's pro probably be the most interesting gun for the real skirmishing airsoft player in the next few months. So, what is it? Okay, this is uh, the Airsoft Systems ASAR. ASAR stands for Airsoft Assault Rifle. Uh, it's uh, designed by me. It's uh, going into production very soon. Uh, it's uh, something that I designed not exactly as a gun designer, more as an airsoft player. So that's why there are no original trademarks on it? Uh, yes, uh, maybe for some distributors uh, who has, have licenses, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make for them with uh, mm -hmm. trademarks. For example, if Red Wolf Airsoft, they have uh, the license, Stag Arms, Stag Arms mm -hmm. only for them okay. uh, is going to be manufactured with the trademarks of the Stag Arms and, uh, and th these guns are going to only Red Wolf. But a good thing is, if there are no trademarks on it, the licensed Gestapo won't rip your ass open if you want to import yes, it. Yes, so you can the thing, the export thing, it to every country. Uh, the aim here was to give as much as possible on the uh, lowest possible price. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there is a, a price that we cannot go, go under it and have uh, a good product. Speaking of the price, this system is probably not even comparable to the Systema, but it's better than the Systema PTW. But it will cost about half the price, is that correct? Yes, we, we, don't, we cannot say exact price at the moment because uh, exact price we'll know uh, when all the tooling is ready and uh, we, we can see how exactly the parts we, will cost. But we have, of course, an idea around a figure. So we're looking at a retail price between uh, 400 and 450 okay. US dollars. Now, Vladimir, show us why it's worth the money. What's so special about this design? Okay, so that gun has, uh, let's say, all so-called so PTW features. Uh, uh, for example, it will stop shoot when the magazine is empty. Mm -hmm. uh, when you reload, you have to pull the, the bolt catch mm -hmm. to resume fire. Can but you show it a bit better in the camera? Bolt catch. Well, that actually feels a bit more like a real mechanical part and it's not yes. uh, like squishy on some of the PTW or yes. PTW copies. Yes. So the similarities with, uh, between this one and the PTW, they end here. Okay. Now we're going to show what is better. Uh, le le let's, let's not get wrong. Uh, Systema PTW, it's a great gun. I think it's still the best gun on the market, but it is expensive. I'm not hiding, uh, until now even I'm playing with a PTW, and I have two PTWs, <laughs> and uh, they're great guns, but they're not for everybody. I sold and, mine. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to use the chance to give more for the money, because sometimes giving more is not making more expensive. Make a product better is not making it more expensive. So I wanted to give in, in this gun as much as possible. So, with, I, as I already said, it detects, it, uh, magazine is empty, it stops shoot, bolt catch works. Speaking but of the magazine, this is not a special magazine, right? No. This is a standard Marui M16 magazine. type magazine. It uses standard Marui magazines. That means that the airsoft player can use the affordable, even cheap Chinese, even Chinese standard Marui M16 magazines. And it will still have the bolt lock feature. Exactly, okay. Okay. exactly. This is because we have especially uh, fought for patent hop-up chamber that detects when the magazines are moving inside and when, uh, 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 sorry, when the BBs are moving. Mm -hmm. So when BBs are not moving through the hop-up chamber, that means only one thing, magazine yep. is empty. So then you just have to put a new mag, bolt catch, and you resume fire. Mm -hmm. So, uh, something else which is unique and also very recently fought for patent, it is a new trigger system which actually reproduces the mechanical feeling of a real trigger. Mm -hmm. It clicks and it clicks again when it is reset. Okay. Can you hold it a bit closer to the microphone and let it click? Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the thing with the clicking is not to hear it, it's to feel it. Sure. 
because when you're shooting, you cannot hear anything. And <laughs> on real gun, when you shoot, you don't hear the reset, you feel it. Yeah. And the idea of, of this one, in order to be possible to do fast <laughs> double taps, you need to feel the reset, so you don't need to pull the trigger all the way to the front. You just continue to, uh, to pull it again back. Uh, something else, on this gun, you can choose whether to change the, the way full auto position of the selector works. Mm -hmm. You can choose uh, at this moment, just because of the exhibition we're in Germany, it's uh, semi-auto only. Of course. And uh, by the way, I was shooting, I was holding the bolt catch, but if I'm not holding the bolt catch, stop shooting. Mm -hmm. I have to pull the bolt catch to resume shooting. Now it stops again. So you can choose the full auto, whether to be standard full auto, or to be three round burst. How would you change from full out to three round burst? Actually, you're entering into program mode the same way that you're doing in the standard uh, airsoft smart control unit, okay. which is already on the market for uh, almost three years. So you don't have to buy a special version, you just have to buy one rifle and you can change it easily yes. the way you want it. Yes. And now I'm going to open it to see the interesting bits inside. Uh, it's a prototype, so it's um, a bit tight. Actually, this one receiver is painted because we didn't have the time to anodize it. Uh, actually, this prototype was finished uh, just a week before EVA. And, uh, uh, but in serial production, this is not going to be painted. This is going to be anodized uh, the same way that real guns are done. Anodized means, of course, it's going to be a full metal gun. Full metal. No, we're not planning plastic versions at all. Okay. I need a bit of... Wait. Need some help? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> you need some help? <laughs> no, it's... Should I get a hammer? Ah, ready. Okay. There it goes. Okay, inside. You have the cylinder. Mm -hmm. And you have the lower gearbox. Whole electronics and MOSFET set now is here. Stock tube is completely empty. It's, at the moment, it's full with battery. You can even see the battery here. And it's 11.1 volt lipo battery, of course. Yes. Actually, the voltage the better. Yes, actually, the, the system will work with any battery, but mm -hmm. of course, with the lipo, it will work the best. Uh, the thing here is that if you want to change the, the power of the spring, you don't need to buy a second cylinder. Mm -hmm. You just can take this cylinder and change the spring only. And that's an ordinary spring like a system or system or whatever, whoever makes it's, it's standard uh, Marui type of spring. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gears and the piston and all the parts inside, they have been tested with M150 and they're meant to be to work with an M150. So really there is not much to upgrade in this gun. So do I actually need to buy a second cylinder unit when I can't change the spring? Not at all. Okay. Uh, something so else. unlike Systema, where you need for the PTW to buy the complete new cylinder unit, you just need a new spring for, new, for higher yes. power. Yes. That's cool. Uh, something else. You can see how it's shaped in the front of the cylinder. Mm -hmm. This is in order that the cylinder makes contact with the inner front part of the receiver. Mm -hmm. So when the piston hits, the energy transferred to the whole receiver, not only to the gearbox shell. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the walls of this uh, cylinder, they're four times more thicker than uh, the walls of a st standard Marui gearbox, even the best Marui gearbox. So no more broken gearbox shells? No, even in cold weather. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's a good to play in the winter airsoft gun. Mm -hmm. Something which is also interesting. Uh, sorry. Ah, by the way, something interesting. Uh, because I used to shoot the girl, uh, the the gun. I hope you did this. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, okay. For example, at the moment I cannot close because of the new um, tappet place that I'm using. 
for example, if you take, um, um, let's say, another type of split gear box mm -hmm. designs, you always see that there is a tappet plate showing out of it, which, which is, is very plastic. easy to break. Yes. There, there is, can you see a tappet plate here? Nope. No tappet plate at all. Okay, it's a, a new feature also filed for patent from us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a new type of tappet plate. And uh, in order to be able for the moment to close, because now I cannot close it, mm -hmm. once I open it, I need uh, at the moment, wait, I need to put it in full auto in order to be able to do this. Oh. I need to park the, the Don't gear. Don't say that on video, we're in Germany, there is no full auto here. I have to do it. In order to put uh, to zero the, um, uh, the sector gear, I need when it's open, I make a small auto, then one click mm -hmm. at semi, and it is zeroed, and then I can close the gun. Okay. But at the um, final product, people won't have this problem, right? Uh, no, it's, uh, let's say, uh, for example, this is not a problem. Mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> it's a feature. <laughs> no, it's not a feature. For example, uh, like a, P a PTW or a CTW, they're using optics to mm -hmm. detect the position of the um, sector gear. Actually, we're using a micro switch which detects the position of the cutoff lever, which is pretty much a standard cutoff lever. What is the benefit of this? Uh, it doesn't care about dirt or grease. Mm -hmm. It never fails. Cool. Because, you know, uh, an optic system, when it gets dirty, it stops yeah. working. So, the thing is like this, that uh, when I shoot in normal mode, the sector gear will stop when the first tip connects with the first tip of the piston. Mm -hmm. But in this way, if I open it, I, I cannot close it back because the tappet plate gets in touch with the eccentric mm -hmm. that is moving it. So I need to put the eccentric out of the way of the tappet plate. I cannot do it by hands because it's, uh, I have a good motor yeah. and I'll cut my finger. <laughs> so the way to do that, it's the computer, uh, we have made it uh, a program that if it is the gun is open and I do on full out one and then on semi one, it will put okay. uh, the sector gear in a way that will let me mm -hmm. close the gun. So you already planned for that? <laughs> yes. Wait. Ah, something else. The dummy bolt opens all the way back. As it should be. Your battery. Yes. <laughs> so, when can we expect it to be released? You said in this year? Uh, you think it's possible or maybe next year? Let's say this, this year we're going to, uh, to have um, out of the modes uh, maybe a couple hundred guns. Mm -hmm which we're going to give to players in Bulgaria for some oh, time. On. You're a racist, oh. you're a racist. No, no, I'll explain <laughs> why, there, there, is, there is a reason. Uh, the thing is like this, we're going to give it to a few players from top players to total uh, idiots, let's say. Noobs. Yes, noobs. That, uh, that <laughs> Just say noobs and not okay. idiots, it's nice. No, I mean people that they, they break anything you give them. Oh, so. like my camera guy, <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to give them these test, test guns and after one month, after two months, we're, we're, we're going to ask them back. So like we're, going, we're going to give them free batteries and free BBs, a lot of BBs. And we're going to ask them to shoot all those BBs. And actually, after that, when we, we take the, electronic, the gun back, we switch the electronic to the computer and we're going to read the memory how many shots have gone through it. Okay. We're going to check all the mechanics. So it's like a closed beta testing? Yes, the, the thing is that if we are going to screw, let's screw it locally, not globally. <laughs> Makes but, sense. Yes, that's the idea. And when we're sure that we have the perfect gun, mm -hmm. we're going to release it on the market for the airsoft players. Uh, but of course, this is just another M4 type of gun. Is there any chance that you will do other guns in the future? Or do you have any plans or some uh, idea maybe? Uh, let's say that we have something else on the drawing board at the moment. Okay. Which cool. will have all those features also and it is not on M4. 
<laughs> That's good to hear. It's an M16. Yes. No, it's just checking. Just no, kidding. No. <laughs> cool. So. Anything else you want to mention about the gun? Yes, at the moment, uh, yes, I have put a Mac full stock and uh, Mac full sights. The, at the moment, that this doesn't mean that the gun will go out with this. Mm. Uh, the moment we have talks with uh, some also manufacturers mm. of real gun stocks and accessories mm. and rails, and we have not decided exactly which one will go out on the market. I have put I have put uh, Mac pulls on the, this prototype just because they're my favorite at the moment. <laughs> okay.